Hey everyone, it's Blue Lizard Jello, and welcome back to Blue Play Steel Rising. And boy, oh boy, do I have something foolish to share with all of you. Thanks to Kenneth in the comments. Well, actually, it was Tyler in Discord who is Kenneth in the comments. Anyway, he questioned me about my leveling, and, and I thought it was because I've been using the Volley Mallet, as you can see here, which if we look at the Volley Mallet, Go ahead and do that real quick. You can see that it scales in power, power alone with an S in, in power. So I thought, oh, maybe he's laughing because I'm putting all my points into alchemy and I'm using the volley mallet, which doesn't even use it. And he said, no, you're putting it into elemental alchemy, which if we go over to my statistics, I'm all the way up to level eight, it's my highest stat. He said, but elemental alchemy only increases your resistance to elements, flame, frost, and fulmination. You can see that in the bottom right. They're slightly highlighted. I thought <laughs> this increased my affliction buildup, like frost, flame, fulmination. No, no, that would be engineering. My lowest stat, along with my vigor. Yeah, that's right. Engineering, which is only at a level two. So, uh, whoops. Thanks for pointing it out. Unfortunately, it's a little bit late considering I may not even level up for the rest of the game at this point. Oh, but I guess it's a uh, it's good to learn now, right? Or at least, you know, better late than never. My goodness gracious. Anyway, here we are in the garden. We are going to be doing our darndest, doing my darndest in order to get to Mirabo. I am trying to wrap up some of these side quests. I do intend to run through most, if not all, the enemies here, just so I can hopefully make somewhat quick work of this side quest action. As I've stated multiple times, I am mostly just interested at this point in uh, Nicholas Flamel's quest. That's what I want to get to. And I'm hoping I can do exactly that. Now, I have no idea where I am or where I'm going. But you can rest assured that I am going to <laughs> try and figure this out. Does that open? That does not open. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm a little bit shocked that I made such a... Such a silly mistake so early on and repeatedly. I mean, I'm not that surprised because, I mean, I've met me. So I know just how I function. Now, however... To do it that often without realizing, especially when early in the game, probably first episode, I I did actually look at the stats and and consider them to try and figure out what does what, and I thought I'd even uh, you know mostly done that. Is there a window to jump out of or anything like that? King, oh this is this was not where I wanted to go. This is where I just was. Okay. So, we need to confront Mirabo. So I guess maybe I need to go down and go out of this building instead of upstairs. That's, that's the idea. Apparently though, uh, Mara, when he told me that it was the point of no return that I should go take care of some things, anything else that's uh, outstanding, I can't even, ow. What if I go up here? Is there any, any window out up here? Uh, apparently he was he was not being forthcoming. Nope, that's just the same area. And there actually is a chance even once I get to the, uh, the Bastille, there's still a chance to actually go back and do some things. So th I'm just, I'm just completely bypassing, uh, any progress by going back out this front door. All right, well, here we go. This looks somewhat promising. Oh, there's actually a wall I kicked through. Great. All right, now we're closing the gap. Pardon me, you uh, panther, panther robots. Okay. Again. As always, not the most thrilling of gameplay when I'm just running through everything. However, oh boy. Things are happening now, though. Oh, excuse me. Wow, 
Wow, it's been, it feels like it's been so long since I've been here. I was actually still playing with some strategy. Remember those days? Okay, here we go. There's a Vestal even. Let's go confront Mirabeau. That didn't take nearly as long as I thought. That's good. I have just come from the Tuileries. The Armoire de Fer has been ransacked. Diable. Someone beat us to it. This is very unfortunate. God only knows what we would have found there. Whoever it was had to fight for it. I found a body there, killed by automats. Mon Dieu. How dreadful. Dreadful indeed. Especially since I discovered this in the victim's hand. And what is that, pray tell? A dueling pistol. With your name engraved on its plate. Oh, I... May we? You're right. It is my pistol. It was stolen along with a number of other things. It happened just before the Estates General at my lodgings in Versailles. But how on earth did my weapon end up in the hands of this poor soul? I am certain we will find an explanation. I'm going to have a look around. With your permission, of course. Well, since I'm in no position to dissuade you... Can I talk to him? I'm going to have a look around. Oh, no. Just With that. Your permission, of course. Well, since I'm in no position to dissuade you. Okay, so, well, <laughs> I'm gonna look around. Like, look at this. Only a few lines were untouched by the flames. Okay, trying to burn some letters. As it pleases your majesty, representatives of the third estate, whose anger should be noted, your loyal and discreet sir. Ooh, someone trying to cover something up now. It just, okay, please, oh please, don't tell me that that's what I had to look around and I'm going to question him just on those burnt letters, right? Right? <laughs> Please? Something back here? Maybe he tried to, I don't know, hide a body in the fountain? Oh, game. Don't do this. Please. <laughs> you appear to have burnt these papers in a hurry. I'm eager to hear your explanation. It's nothing at all, I assure you. Frivolous letters that were cluttering my desk. I find your defense unconvincing. Why won't you tell me the truth? You don't understand. This is a matter of the utmost importance that I cannot discuss with a creature such as yourself. I am an automat, monsieur. This is true, but I serve the queen. And my only aim is to put a stop to the crimes that have befallen the kingdom. Well, know that you're not alone in serving the queen. What was in those letters you threw into the fire? My private correspondence with the king. I had a key to the armoire, which served as a mailbox. Are you conspiring with the king? No, you don't understand. I was something of a shadow advisor, a, a diplomat, working in complete discretion. I feared his stubbornness would lead the kingdom to ruin, so I tried to reassure him regarding the aims of the Third Estate. But when Vaucanson told me what happened at Meudon, I realized it was a lost cause. I found your pistol in the hands of a dead man. Who was this unfortunate soul? Mathieu. One of the servants I had sent to retrieve the letters. I gave him the pistol for self-defense. Alas, it seems it was of little use to him against the king's automats. You claim to be a friend of the queen. The king has gone insane. After what happened at Meudon, that much is clear. We can no longer expect any leniency from him. Hence, my support for his wife. She's a headstrong woman and much wiser than she lets on. You must know that she means to put her youngest on the throne, the young prince, Louis Charles. A regency would restore peace and unity to the kingdom. Then all that would remain would be to establish a constitution. I have the support of the people. They trust me. I'm the only one that can bring about these reforms. 
Tell me, what happened at Modon? It's all here in this letter, written in the king's own hand. Please, give it to the queen. She must learn the truth. Why were you in such a hurry to destroy your correspondence? The letters contained sensitive information about my third estate colleagues. If it had gotten out, I would have surely lost my allies' trust, as well as any hope of establishing a regency along with it. Okay, the king's can Ooh. Oh, I must today confess to you the worst of all crimes. I confess that I killed my son. I ordered the poison that killed him to be administered. Believing I was performing a miracle of the black's magic, thinking I was giving a miraculous body to the child that the doctors declared condemned. I defiled the son of my the soul of my beloved son. His innocent soul is now trapped in a hideous metal cage. I transformed my son into an accursed creature, half man, half machine, who strives to tear down the walls of the prison we hoped would contain him. His only wish was to laugh and let himself soak up the beauty of the world, and I gave him over to terror, madness, and the most extreme sort of solitude. I have only one wish, Abby. Give me back my faith, your king commands. Oh, okay. Yikes. Wow, that's, um, that was tough. Nothing else to say about that. That's, um, that was rough. That was rough. So, well, he's not coming back with me. I can, I can say that for sure. Um, but it didn't look like any other quest got updated, correct? So this is still, the main quest is still the same. Yeah, it looks like that's about it. Although I don't, I still don't know what to do about this cane. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. No one at the convent wants to tell me about it. Nicholas Flamel's final journey still not updated. Okay, so this, this would get to the bottom of Lafayette's uh, alleged treason, which I've already kind of confronted him on. But... Yeah, hmm. Now, wait a minute. The bonds... I guess maybe if I went back to the convent, I could talk to Monsieur Necker about the safe being opened? Let's... Okay, so let's, let's take a look at that. Let's go back to the convent, I think. Let's use a carriage token... Of which I still have five. Okay, we'll replace my frost grenade. And then let's head back to the convent. No new correspondence. I thought maybe I'd have something. But not so much. So nothing at the Tuileries, nothing at Les Invalides. Uh, La Cité is just for searching the place. Dauphine. Maybe I should actually go do that. Oh, give them the, Oh, I have the bonds. Duh, I have the bonds. Right. The safe was opened. However, the bonds remained. So, and I can still question the people of the convent. That's interesting. Tell you what, let's go do this one instead. That way we can kind of do more when we go back there all at once. Okay, now, let's not use that again. And we're looking at 260 meters over that away. Let's go get it. Once again, just kind of rushing through. Hopefully finding our way with relative ease, yeah? Okay, so far this is going really good. So I'm searching for the place Dauphin. Is that <laughs> Dauphin? Dauphin, Dauphin, all right. Come to me, my dear. Whoa, what? Okay, curious. Madame. Why didn't you come sooner, my cher? Those poor children in the National Guard. They could have used your help. They marched all day on the Pont Neuf. Oh, you should have heard them singing as they marched on the Place Dauphine. They were very brave then. To hear them. You'd think that the king had already handed over his crown. And... So, oh, no, you got more. Okay. Then what happened? As far as I know, gunfire. 
the booming of cannons, shouting, lots of shouting. And then, silence. None of the soldiers returned? No, not a single one. My son, my little Francois, he left this morning to join the volunteers, but he hasn't given any sign of life since. Take comfort, madame. Your son is safe and sound. He has found a safe haven where he is not in danger, and will stay there until it's safe to come out. Praise be to God. Without you, I would have been overcome with worry. Here, for your trouble, a little something to help you continue your fight. Oh, hey, that was actually a pretty good, nope. Oh. You have something else to say? Pretty good reward. Thank you again, my share. And may fortune guide your footsteps. Oh, alright. Well, you're very welcome. That was, uh... That was actually a really nice little reward there. Uh, can I... Make that? I sure can. Excellent. I don't actually even know what, uh, what she's referring to, if I'm being honest. I don't know who her son is, little Francois. Nope, nope, turn around. There we go. Oh. Ow. Rude. Okay, so time to search. I'm gonna guess this mystical book might be one. A list of men and volunteers who have enlisted in the National Guard, Colonel Armand, most senior officer is on the first line. Not even the commanding officer was spared. Lafayette didn't hand over his army to the king. This must certainly be Colonel Armand. I should keep looking around Place Dauphine. Place Dauphine. All right. Now we know. Now I know. I will promptly forget very, very quickly. And do that again. I don't know what you want to do. All right, enjoy this. Oh, <laughs> enjoy death, apparently. Wow, volley mallet, so good. Imagine if I actually put points into uh, <laughs> power. My dearest Rose, I hope this finds you well. Still there's hope. Our officers tell me that Marquis de Lafayette himself has agreed to take command only he has not yet appeared. I do not know if we'll meet again. Uh-oh. What's going on there, Mr. De Lafayette? Can I uh, kick this down? No? All right. I didn't want to either. Anyway, just vandalism. Yellow cartridges. A conspirator's secret sign. There was most certainly a conspiracy. There's no doubt about that. But those involved shared the same fate as the rest of them. I should keep looking around Place Dauphine. I should? Carriage cart, uh, token? Steel. Oh! Apparently I had a key for this chest. A headquarters at the Pont au Change. By all appearances, it's not official. Most likely an underground hiding place that can be entered from the riverbank. I'll try to track down Capitaine Lefebvre. If he and his men withdrew to the Société des Amis des Noirs, he must have gone towards the Châtelet. It would have been a desperate move for certain. I doubt any of them survived the retreat. I don't... I don't want to be ungrateful, but you just gave me a chest that I had to open with a key that I don't even remember picking up, and you just gave me a letter? <laughs> Okay, so now I gotta find the secret headquarters and Captain Lefebvre. No way I can say that correctly without just sounding really, really uh, rude. So uh, let's disregard what I just did there with my mouth. Okay, all right. So let us make our way to the secret headquarters first, just because that is closest. Pardon, excusez-moi. Okay, just along the river bank, which is not to be confused with just around the river bend. Okay, easy enough to get to, I believe. 
if I can indeed get over this, which I think Really? You're just going to make an arbitrary rule that I can't climb... You saw nothing. You heard nothing. Let's take care of you. Why not? Beautiful. That's just fun. Do you want to have a little critical attack done to you? You do. I thought you might. <laughs> who doesn't love that? Who? How could you not? Okay, actually, it might be closer to the captain at this point. Oh no! Oh no! Door that I probably could have unlocked a while ago. Firebird. Firebird. You did not block that. Oh. All right. Stop it. Okay. Yep, yep, yep. I didn't think you would actually go that quickly, but you did, and that works. However. Oh, 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 I saw it, I saw it. Sneaky. Wow, oh, you can see me all the way from up there, huh? Okay. Oh no, it's another dead end. Okay, well, enjoy this. And this, and that. Oh, I'm so close. All right, let's deal with you so I can slow down a little bit. Wow. That, that was some good damage. Well, so this is just kind of heading right, ah, dogs. Kind of heading right back to the, uh, oh, nope. <laughs> the uh, carriage. This looks good though. Just keep running, just keep running. You know where all the. Oh, Souls. he's dead. They died just steps from their goal. York? What does that mean? I mean, it's a town in Pennsylvania. You are ordered to do everything in your power to stop the advance of enemy troops at the Châtelet. If necessary, sabotage the system that opens the doors. Oh, poor Captain Armand. Lefebvre, sorry. Captain Armand also, because he was also dead, but... This is the one that's more pertinent right now, I guess. Pardon? Excuse me? Oh. Oh. Oh, boy. Immobilization. That's, that's just the secret. That's a secret to all of this. What do you got for me? That's fine, because I have one of these. And now you're going to do a big exploder. Yep, yep, back up. Okay, and this is a door I can unlock, which I shall. It. Yeah, why not? They're still expensive. Oh, wow. Just on the other side of the Vestal, huh? Alright. Um. Banks of the Seine. Oh, I think I was here like a long time ago. Wait. Turn around. Don't turn. Jerk. Again. And again. Oh! Just kidding, you're... Back up, back up, back up. Excellent, good. 
750 cast iron. I will take all that. Oh, hello. You don't take much damage from this. And you also can hit behind you. All right, well, let's uh, pop an oil vial. There we go, all right. Watch it. You should have quite the weakness to fire, I imagine. So many oil vials. I'm glad I bought those early on. And again. As soon as he's up, he might be immobilized. Nope. And again, quick. Not for sure he was gonna get immobilized several times during that encounter. You know, for someone who really didn't spec into power very much, boy do I love this heavy weapon. Yes, give me something good. Noble spirit. Oh, do I even want to go for it? Yes. Yes, I do. Hey, look at that. That range is pretty cool. Hey, all right, two more oil vials. I'll take it. Slippery slope. Okay, I can just get out if I really want. Let's get around. Finish. Good, oh, ow. This is fine. And again, there's the immobilization. And darn near killed him. See, there's times when this game flows and it's great and it's a lot of fun. And then there's others. Come on. Let me get a little bit. What if I... Do I really have to, if I want that, drop down and attack? I... I should have hit that. There we go. Okay. And what do you give me? Okay, they're, those are good. Those are good. They're not improved, but they're still good. They're still good. Why? Okay, good. The lock opened. The headquarters. This place must be studied carefully. This document bears the signature of the Marquis de Lafayette. So the rumors were true. The Garde Nationale wasn't formed spontaneously. All of this was carefully orchestrated. It is high time the Marquis de Lafayette explained himself. Ooh, I, at the first bloodshed, oh no, not I, that's one. Those are numerals, you goober. Okay, so now we have proof that uh, de Lafayette isn't exactly being uh, truly forthcoming. Now I, oh, bismuth block, carriage token. Okay, v Viva Lafayette. Well, maybe not for long. Let's see how his friends feel. Oh, another one. Okay. I think I have plenty of proof here. And I've already gotten a bismuth block, so what am I gonna get out of this? Gonna get? Oh, a formal bicorn and a formal double and a <sighs> dicublis? Is that what? Is that how I'm supposed to pronounce that? No, Discobolus. Discobolus wheel. Discus throw. I'm sorry, launches a disc at the enemy? <laughs> yeah. That's gonna happen. Well, I'm gonna put it next to my mallet. We're gonna have to upgrade that. You know, yet another power weapon. But let's, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so standard wheel and then... 
legitimately hurls a discus at them. I love that a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Okay, carriage token. Now we have a lot to go back to the convent and talk about. Ooh, upgrades. Uh, actually, let's go to boutique. Let's sell. I don't think I have too much. Yeah, noble spirits, one warriors, a valiant, and that's it. Now, if I go to my weapons, and already I need bronze ingots, fantastic. Okay, boutique, purchase. I'm gonna buy three of those. And let's see what else we can do with that weapon. Crud, <laughs> I need another bronze ingot, okay. We'll just buy one. Is that going to be enough to upgrade it? Probably not. I think I need more anima. Yep. Eight more anima. All right. That's okay. That's all right. Okay. We got a lot to do. A lot to do back at the comments. So go get yourself a snack. Get yourself a drink. We're going to be here a hot minute. We got some, we got some talking to do. And Mr. Lafayette has some splaining to do. Pardon the airplane. It's not landing outside. You would think it was. Now, does this, let's see, how much does this take? Just one capsule, okay. Oh man, she just pushed that door open like she knew something bad's about to happen. Monsieur le Marquis. I'm listening, Aegis. <laughs> Should we... T let's talk about the bonds first. The bonds are in my possession. And to whom do you intend to give them? Not you, you traitor's jerk. I haven't decided yet. What more do you need to know? Oh. I think I've argued my case in due fashion. To think the fate of the kingdom rests on the judgment of an automat. <sighs> Unbelievable. Oh, you just made this so much easier. Monsieur le Marquis... I'm listening. You lied to me, General. Now I know all about your machinations. And what could you possibly think you know? I know that you raised the National Guard for the sole purpose of taking command of it. There was nothing spontaneous about the uprising. Do you have any evidence to support your accusations? I do. I have the manifesto. Bon sang. <laughs> Good God. Hmm, the plot. His accomplice... Let's do his thirst for power. Some accuse you of harboring a lust for power. The circumstances were to your advantage. These aspersions are all too familiar to me. But tell me, if I wanted the crown for myself, why did I not take it when I returned from America? When I had seasoned troops at my command and the people sang my praises with one voice? No, that makes no sense. Though I readily admit that I do believe I am worthy of fulfilling an important role for the Queen after her son is crowned. Lieutenant General of the Kingdom, for example. Or even, if circumstance requires, the Regent. Okay, well, what about your accomplices? Who were your accomplices? My brothers in arms, the brave men of the Regiment de Saint-Ange, veterans of the American War. Men who, at the Battle of Yorktown, brought an empire to its knees. Alas, we gravely underestimated the enemy's forces. We thought we would face an infantry supported by a handful of machines, but an entire army of automats. It was unthinkable. So tell me about the plot, you know, just the general story here. <laughs> Why resort to this manipulation? You must understand. What I have done, I did for the good of the kingdom. I wanted to stop this massacre while protecting the queen and the Dauphin. In the name of the people, Aegis. But an actual uprising of the people would have inevitably led to disaster. Only professional soldiers could organize and lead the resistance. Voila. Now you know everything. I haven't left anything out. However, this truth, if it were made public, 
would play right into my enemy's hands. So I ask you not to reveal anything I've just told you, and to give me the manifesto. Um... No, because you know what? You just put me down for being an automat, so... I don't even care if this is the right thing to do. And I also don't know if it's the right thing to do. But just because I can? No, General. You'll forgive me for choosing to hold on to it. In that case, my fate remains in your hands. Can you at least tell me where my detractor is hiding? The one who is spreading these charming rumors about me. I cannot tell you anything, General. Oh, no matter. I will not let this serpent continue to vilify me. I shall get redress for these aspersions in the end. Do as you wish, General de Lafayette. <laughs> I can still give... This is great. But listen. I can give you these bonds. No, no, no. no. Goodbye, Monsieur le Marquis. All right. Let's keep going. Can I help you, Aegis? Nope. Goodbye, Mom. <laughs> okay. Monseigneur. What can I do for you? Not a thing. Goodbye, Monsieur. Allez, on paix. Monsieur Raymond. Go on, Aegis. It's it. Okay. Just. I, I want to get through his dialogue. This seems horrible because I'm just putting this, this conversation off. We publish articles and exert our influence on those who are in a position to improve the lot of our unfortunate brethren. Our numbers grow by the day, and we have many illustrious members, such as the Comte de Mirabeau and the Marquis de Lafayette. But it was Monsieur Brissot and the Abbot that founded the group. Good old Brissot. Shouldn't he be here by now? Yes, Mon Père. He should have arrived hours ago. Alas, there has been no sign of him. I hope to God that no misfortune has befallen him. What fate does the kingdom reserve for those with black skin? According to tradition, any enslaved person who sets foot on French soil is freed. This rule is most problematic in the eyes of planters in the colonies who would seek to maintain their precious labor force. This is why, for the past 12 years, no black people have been allowed to disembark in any of the kingdom's ports. Those who accompany their masters on the journey are imprisoned in the Admiralty's jails the moment they leave the ship. As for those who manage to evade the authorities, they live in fear of the raids carried out by the Marshal Sea. Are you not subject to these laws, Monsieur Raymond? I am fortunate enough to have been born a subject of the King through my father, and also to have received an education and to be wealthy. Naturally, that makes all the difference. You are quite a long way from home. I Monsieur thought I actually went through these. I haven't been back to Saint-Domingue in nearly five years. I left my most trusted men in charge of overseeing my indigo plantation. I came to France with the aim of having an audience with the king. I hoped to convince him to use his automats for agricultural work. I was of the belief that this was the best way to ease the suffering of our enslaved brethren. Alas, it was all for naught. I was only able to get an audience with the Minister of the Navy, and even that was granted reluctantly. Later, when the King convened the Estates General, my hopes were renewed. I saw it as an opportunity to make our voices heard. And then, mon dieu, what a disaster, Aegis. What a complete disaster. Yeah, I think I've actually already gone through those dialogue options. I'm not sure why he still has them. Oh, Mirabeau Monsieur is here. <gasps> Franciscus Antonius, please. I found a broken cane. It says Franciscus Antonius on it. Do you know who it belongs to? Well, I never. Yes, <gasps> I know the owner. <gasps> and I'm willing to bet you're looking for a certain Francois Antoine. That's right. Well, you'd need to look a little further east, mademoiselle. Across the Rhine for a start. Because this cane belongs, or belonged, to a certain France Anton Mesmer. Dun, dun, dun. Mesmer, the Prince of Charlatans. Good heavens, it's been a long time since I've heard his name. Five years, to be exact, since your learned commission denounced his theories. It wasn't long after that when he disappeared. Can you tell me more about Mesmer? 
He was a mystical healer who was once popular with the upper class. I myself attended several of his sessions. Ooh, okay. Well, we got some more <laughs> dialogue to get through. You mentioned a commission. The king did not look kindly on the healer's popularity within the court. This led him to appoint a commission from the Royal Academy of Sciences. An institution to which Monsieur Bailly and I have the honor to belong. We were asked to investigate his alleged powers. The experiments that we performed allowed us to determine that Monsieur Mesmer's activities were pure charlatanism. A conclusion that destroyed his successful career the moment it was published. But there was something, Silva. A tiny flow of energy that my devices were able to measure. My dear colleague, must I remind you again that we were never able to reproduce your observations. It was obviously a momentary failure of your equipment. Perhaps. I'd like to be sure of it. When and how did Monsieur Mesmer disappear? The denunciation of his techniques was the start of a long descent into hell for Monsieur Mesmer. He was abandoned by his clients and resumed his research in virtual secrecy. I think he was hoping to perfect his so-called science and restore his reputation with the Academy. A hope that led him to associate himself with that dastardly Cagliostro. God only knows what experiments they may have carried out. In any case, their collaboration did not last long. Monsieur Mesmer left the kingdom overnight to return to his mother country. Why did he leave so quickly? That is a mystery. But those who saw him that morning say it was as if he had the devil at his heels. This is true. He left in such a hurry that he abandoned everything he owned. Furniture, belongings, and scientific equipment. Furniture? And it seems that Cagliostro has inherited this treasure. Is that so? Well, if what you say is true, that broken cane must have passed into the Count's hands. Yes, it's likely. This adventurer from who knows where is quite the mysterious character. And he has been very busy recently. I've been able to observe him from my apartment, making frequent visits to Rue Saint-Honoré, on the Tuileries side. I wonder what he was doing there. What were Monsieur Mesmer's theories? He is a proponent of a theory called animal magnetism. He claimed to be able to channel a purported universal healing fluid by passing his hands over patients and using magnets. He also cobbled together a whole array of mad devices, each stranger than the last. Unfortunately, despite all his attempts, I don't know that he ever cured anyone. What happened during Monsieur Mesmer's treatment sessions? Oh, they were quite a spectacle to behold. Imagine well-born ladies afflicted with perfectly imaginary illnesses. A dimly lit room where incense has been burned to intoxicate the soul and cloud your vision. Amiable servants, half-dressed, gliding from countess to duchess to the sound of a sensual melody. And the great Mesmer, a doctor with wandering hands, presiding over the wonderful scene. Oh, you should have seen them. Those grand ladies moaning, crying, and falling into a swoon, clinging to that strange tub. Du théâtre, ma chère. Pure theater. Track down Cagliostro. Wait, but... Hold on, this is still part of Origins, not Nicholas Flamel's quest? This still hasn't updated? <laughs> oh man. Okay, well, mate. <laughs> Just never ends. <laughs> Have you found Monsieur Marat? Yes, you were right. He is hiding in the quarries of Montmartre. Did he show you the way to the Bastille? No, but he told me about the tunnels that will take me to the Temple. From there, I can fight my way to the Bastille. The man is trustworthy, as long as he does not count you among his enemies. You should leave us, and take up his advice immediately. I have recovered Minister Necker's bonds. Do you intend to entrust them to me? If only because the other option is Lafayette. Yes. I have chosen to place this fortune in your hands. Very well, madame. I promise that I will use it for one purpose only. To give the people their freedom. When a monarch violates the people's most fundamental rights, insurrection is their most sacred and indispensable duty. But we must be wary of warmongers, who would lead the rebellion in the name of the people. 
because all they truly want is to become tyrants in turn. I mean, that's what I'm trying to say, right? Anima Essence gained 500. That's what I got for that? Goodbye, Monsieur de Robespierre. That's... I got 500 Essence for that. Okay. Right. Let's... <laughs> Let's take a look here. So, Aegis is now waiting for the Queen to give her new instructions. Yep, nothing new there. Nothing new in Nicholas Flamel's origins. I do. Cagliostro is said to come and go around the Rue Saint Honoré near the Tuileries and the tomb. Yep, I know that. Okay, and then the Bastille is where I would update the gunpowder quest for Monsieur Lavoisier. And then this one is apparently I still need to talk to Monsieur Marat, even though I did and didn't get an option to talk about this. Right. So we need to go back to the Tuileries. Again. <laughs> and if this doesn't update Nicolas Fomel's quest. Oh. Monsieur Marat. Madame. I'm surprised to find you here. Did you follow me? Didn't you know? The Duke's allies are always impeccably informed. Some even say that we have eyes and ears everywhere. What do you want from me? To tell you the truth, I can't wait to hear what you've discovered about the matter at hand. And I was afraid you might leave me in the lurch. You can never be too cautious these days. That's why I decided it would be better for me to come to you. You were right. Lafayette was behind this purportedly popular uprising. Aha! I've got him at last! But he had no intention of handing his men over to the king. His goal was to raise an army and command the troops himself. It doesn't matter. These troops would have allowed him to crush the patriots and set himself up as a dictator. He lied to the people. He lied to the Assemblée Nationale. His time has come. All I need is for you to give me the oh proof no. of his treason. Oh no, what's the right thing to do? I don't like this guy. I don't like Mara. I don't like Lafayette. I don't like Mara. Probably a little bit less. I'm keeping it. It's my manifesto. Find your own. Oh, I just lied. Your word. What good is your word to me? Do you think I can convince people by repeating baseless accusations? Believe me, I have tried. But without much success. No, it's useless. I must admit defeat. We will have either the king or Lafayette, one despot or another. In either case, my fate is sealed. I will soon join the Duke in exile, and I will abandon my beloved people to their doom. I have no other choice. Uh oh. Glorian Descent, did I just fail? Glorian Descent? Oh, I failed it. Yeah. Deeply de dejected. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. That probably wasn't right. Real quick, though, just because we're talking about the popular uprising, I do want to go to talk to Rob Pierre. see what he says about the popular uprising. What of your plan to go to the Bastille? I am working. The tunnels under my... Nope, you wrong. When the estate's general was dissolved. Oui, madame. I had a front row seat. I witnessed what it cost to defy the crown. We laid bare before the king the abject misery of his subjects. It was more than he could suffer. So he had the people's representatives dispersed by means of bayonets. At least we only had to contend with soldiers made of flesh and blood. Positively angelic compared to the machines that have swept through Paris. Is your plan to arm the populace going as planned? Oh, far from it, madame. The situation is hopeless. Even if they were armed and formed into battalions, the Patriots would not be able to fight. Why is that? Most of the strategic points in the city are inaccessible. A strange illness strikes all who try. They are seized by an irrational fear, one so great that those who do not lose consciousness go mad or perish on the spot. This makes it impossible to do anything. Any attempt at an uprising is a fool's errand. The locations you mention share a common feature. A statue holding a lantern. That's right. From what little I could make out, they appear to be depictions of a Vestal Virgin watching over the sacred fire. Lanterne des Morts! What do you mean, monsieur? Lanterns of the dead. Ancient stone pillars that are found near some cemeteries. Our ancestors kept a fire going on top of them. 
Today, no one knows what they were used for. A symbol of light triumphing over darkness, perhaps? Others claim that human bones, mercury and lime, were burnt there. Some odious sorcery that was meant to entrap the tormented souls that wandered around the burial grounds. That makes sense and confirms my observations. I am now certain that the King's Lanterns capture the anima essence of the dead who have been cast into purgatory. And that this essence is what allows the automats to stay in motion without needing a key to wind them. But Master Quies in Celis, Sanctificetur Nomentum. Now that I think about it, madame, you obviously what? are not subject to the harmful effects of these lanterns. No, au contraire. When activated, these statues reveal an apparatus that allows me to repair myself. It follows that if you destroy these lanterns, the people will be oh. free to fight again. Unfortunately, they are preternaturally strong. Nothing can so much as damage them. Come now, no metal is indestructible. If we knew what these lanterns were made of, perhaps I could find a way to destroy them. Take a look at this ledger, Monsieur Lavoisier. It contains a list of metals. I found it by the factories, near Vauconson's workshop. Let's see. Steel, molybdenum, very good. Tian, donk, tungsten, and zirconium. This master blacksmith knows his trade. These metals can be used to make the strongest alloy imaginable, as long as you have a fortune to invest. For that, our clockwork tyrant knows no bounds. Well, Monsieur Lavoisier, is there any way to break this alloy? Break it? Certainly not. But a mineral acid could change its structure. Melt it, perhaps. I would recommend... Uh, mm, sulfuric acid, or vitriol, if you prefer to use its common name. Where can I obtain some vitriol? I had some, but my laboratory at L'Arsenal was ransacked. I can't tell you any more than that. You should ask my colleague, Monsieur Bailly. He uses similar substances in his research. Okay, once again, another fascinating side quest. Um, you're stuck. <laughs> so I actually will need to go and destroy the Vestals? Hmm. This is really... Uh, The side quests are more interesting than the main quest. Just pretty much all of them. This is another interesting one. Also, why don't we just call him over to talk to us? You know what? Did you find out what Cagliostro was up to near the Tuileries? No, not yet. Remember what Monsieur de Mirabeau told us? He said the Count looked extremely busy near the Tuileries. Would you happen to know where I could find some vitriol? Sulfuric acid? Of course. Combined with sea salt and green copperus, we use it to polish the lenses of our telescopes. But I don't know how much we have. You would need to go to the Louvre and take a look at the observatory storeroom to find out. If you will allow me to. Of course, madame. Here is the key. Goodbye, Monsieur B. Okay. So, I need to go get some vitriol, which, uh... Some of you might say I have been spewing plenty of it in discussion of this game. <laughs> no, it's not vitriol. It's, um, it is, it really is constructive, criti or it's criticism. I don't know how constructive it is, but it is criticism. I have a few minutes. We're going to just at least make our way to one of these other areas. Uh, I, I'm intrigued now. I truly am intrigued. Now, what are you trying to get me to upgrade? I guess it's the wheel. Okay. So that's level four now. I need a lot more to, to actually upgrade it some more. Uh, and it looks like, good news, both of it is in the Tuileries. Excellent. All right, so I'm looking for Cagliostro and I'm looking for Vitriol, which can be used to melt the Vestals. Uh, that'll be interesting if I actually have to go back and melt them all. It'll be a bit tedious, but interesting that I would actually destroy my places of rest and upgrades. That would be... That'd be a cool little twist. I don't think we've ever seen anything like that before, have we? We've seen some areas become inaccessible. But I don't remember ever having to actually destroy anything like that. Alright, let's test this out. Um, I like the knockback. Wind up is a little long. Oh, and that didn't do it, so... Time for war. Oh, come on. I need, I need more balance. Assuming that would have kept me from getting knocked over. 
that damage is crazy. All right, well, it's not as good as I had hoped, but it's kind of fun. It's just that that, uh, <laughs> that wind up is really, really long. All right, vitriol. So I need a, I do need to go outside. Excuse me? Or can I actually go? Oh, we can go outside here. Okay, now back in. All right. That's easy enough. Oh, one shot, one kill, beautiful. Give the vitriol to Monsieur Lavoisier. All right, easy enough. Next, we need to go find, wait. Caliostro, okay. 200 meters that way, is there any way out? Oh, I didn't even see this chest. I wonder if this is gonna be another carriage token. A Lady Macbeth fans bismuth and a carrot. Lady Macbeth fans? Stop giving me weapons now. Although, Discobolus wheel, really cool. Little bit disappointing. So what's up with the fans? Flying daggers. Lady Macbeth fan sends two devastating knives flying towards the target. Sounds cool. I'm not sure I'm gonna be able to do much with that at this stage just because Getting a little bit light. Um, there we go. Light on the upgrade materials, for sure. Can I open this door? No. Okay, can I open th the same door that I just tried to open? Surprisingly not. to get back on the other side. Is there, there's no grapple up there. Does this open? No? You better watch out, Vessel. I'm coming for you next. All right, let's see how, oh gosh, I should have probably rested that Vestal. Let's see how quickly we can get to Cagliostro. Actually, there's another Vestal in these gardens. Which could be useful. I don't think we're gonna make it in this part. I think next part we'll be able to, whoop. Mistakes were made, mistakes were made. There we have it. Yeah, all right. So, oh, we're stuck. On that note, we're actually gonna call it a part there. Next time we'll go track down Caliostro and then probably back to the comments again. Uh, so sorry that this episode was just so full of dialogue. I just had to update apparently a bunch of quests um, and made a whole bunch of wrong decisions. So yell at me down in the comments below. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're still enjoying and I will see you next time.